Hello everyone. Um, welcome to my channel again and uh, I'm really excited today. I gave the tank a bit of cleaning and uh, I got some fish today. So here you can see I've got 36 new neon tetras. There they are. And uh, I'm really happy about it. So 36 tetras. Um, just got them acclimatized and uh, brought them into the tank. Now I don't buy fishes from each and every one. I generally buy it from one particular dealer and uh, the parameters, the water parameters that he has uh, matches the water parameters that I have in my tank. So I've uh, never had a problem of uh, fish not adjusting to this tank and then dying off. So that's one good part about uh, you having a fixed uh, supplier. So um, and try to find the supplier who uh, matches or, or you ha it's a trial and error. You have to keep buying from a particular person to know how uh, the fish is fair when you get it from them. So yes, that's that's the good thing. Um, I have uh, these tetras in. And uh, as I told yesterday, the silver shark, uh, I don't know if that's a silver shark, that's a shark that uh, I wanted to get rid of because it used to eat off the tetras whenever it was hungry. So I have uh, given that shark to the aquarium uh, store and uh, he gave me like uh, four or five tetras for that. Uh, I know it's not a great deal uh, to crack but yeah it's I know that the shark will be appreciated more in somebody else's uh, home uh, rather than me uh, feeling bad about uh, my tetras dying so yeah so my tetras are back um, plan to fill another 40 the guy only had 36 and uh, that's what I have uh, got here so I had four tetras from uh, my previous lot uh, all the others have been eaten away by the shark and there they are so nice shimmering tetras hopefully they'll get some more color in a few days time because they've just been moved to the tank I think about a couple of hours ago so they're still getting used to the tank and as you know that uh, they'll start showing their actual colors only after a day or two once they've got used to the tank yeah so that's the update for the day um, really fully feeling good after a long time I have uh, done something to the tank and uh, that really shows uh, uh, nothing major just gave it a clean <coughs> excuse me just gave it a clean um, the walls are clean now and you can see pretty clearly so yeah that's that's there um, now let me just make these uh, tetras cool uh, I'm sure you know this trick from one of my previous videos you just have to stop the flow in the tank and if you stop the flow in the tank it's a matter of time before they group and they start uh, free swimming um, as a school so let's just wait and watch mm, still like thinking I think there's still some flow from the filters and of course as you've seen that I don't have an external canister filter the Sunsun filter skip leaking uh, could try to fix it with a lot of uh, adhesives and hemp seed and whatnot didn't work out uh, just cheap quality plastic is uh, used in a Sunsun filter and a friend of mine a couple of them actually have Sunsun filters and they all complain that either the o-ring leaks or something else I mean it, it's it's just a matter of time so if even with normal usage uh, I've seen that the thing just breaks down the plastic is really bad the point where you attach the uh, the pipes to the canister that's the place it breaks um, if you've got a flow stopper where you don't need to prime the canister every time you want to clean your uh, canister filter so yeah, that's, that's not a good quality thing and it costs uh, about, uh, I think uh, the cheapest one would be about four and a half uh, thousand rupees, so didn't want to spend that much. I think these two internal filters are doing a good job. Uh, yeah, of course the water is not as crystal clear as you can see, um, but yeah, it does the job well. Um, 
fishes have not died water looks pretty much clear unless of course you go directly under the lights and then you can see that it's got some particles floating just go and take the camera right under the lights and then you can see those particles but otherwise I think it does a decent job I know there's a way to clean the uh, the dissolved not dissolved but these uh, particles that are floating around uh, just don't want to try them here because I've got some shrimps here if it were just fishes I could have just tried alum so as you know that there is something called alum, A-L-U-M, you can just look that up. So the purpose of alum is it actually causes sedimentation. So if your water has dissolved uh, impurities, if you put alum, it will just polish the water. Make this dissolved uh, substances drop to the base, I mean, it will drop to the substrate. Yeah, but again, it affects uh, crustaceans. Uh, that's what I know. I've seen uh, when we used to put that in our well. We had a open well in our house, and when we used to put that, uh, I mean, we've seen that uh, these um, snails used to die. And they were the first ones to like go extinct. Um, also, it kills a lot of microorganisms in the in the water column. Um, some of them are beneficial as well to fishes. So. Mm. I don't know, I've got shrimps here, I've got few, very few shrimps in this tank, I just moved them from my other tank. Um, if you notice here, uh, right behind the grass, the guppy grass, I think you might notice, it's right in the center of the screen. There's a shrimp hiding in the background, so I've got a few shrimps here, um, just one, don't want to take a chance with uh, killing them. Um, I've done that in the past, of course, I've, I've put hydrogen peroxide when I was... Uh, the tank was affected by a lot of uh, algae, um, the black hair algae, so black beard algae, I guess. Yeah, that's what they call them. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so at that point I had killed a lot of shrimps by uh, mixing hydrogen peroxide with water. So, fishes were not affected, they were all fine, but yeah, now you can see that the fishes have started schooling. Yeah, so if you want to show people how your tetra school, just turn off the flow and they will start schooling. A lot of you people have been asking me uh, in my previous videos if I dose any fertilizers. The answer to that is no. I don't need any. Uh, mainly because this tank is pretty old. It's been three years and as you can see, this layer right under the substrate, this dark muddy layer that's fish poop that takes a lot of time to get accumulated and that's the best fertilizer that any tank can have and just imagine that this fills the whole tank I mean the whole substrate has this at about an inch uh, of depth so and that gets mixed into the column that supplies the necessary nitrogen and yeah, it's, it's just a matter of time. You can't just go and buy it off from a store. You can't get it from a store. You can't uh, just go and tell them I need some fish poop. <laughs> that's that's not possible. So it's a matter of time. You'll have it. And once you have it, you don't need a fertilizer. And the fertilizer, with the fertilizer, the chances of getting it wrong is very high. Mm, you might end up dozing a lot and then you have algae problems. Uh, dozing too little, your plants get used to it and then they kind of cannot manage later without them. It's like drugs. You know. Once you get addicted to it, you need it and then you have to go into rehab. And so the same thing happens for the plants. They have to go into rehab as well. And uh, it doesn't look pretty at that time. It's it's not great. Same thing goes with your CO2 dosing. You, know, you dose them, the plant gets used to it and throws out a lot of leaves. And once you stop dosing, well, things fall apart. So you have to think... Um, what suits you, what you can manage for a long time, and uh, based on that, you should take your decision. Yeah, so that's about uh, the video for today. I hope you like the new Tetris that I've got. Uh, I'll keep posting the updates, and I uh, hope you like the new trick that I taught you today. Uh, stopping the flow makes your Tetris cool and cool.
So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Ahead.